And before this video starts, I want to go ahead and thank the comment section. A lot of you guys commented stuff that we missed in the video that's actually going to be included into this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's JMT and welcome to another update 2.0.5 video. This video is going to help resolve a lot of the confusion and the conflict and the concerns and the questions all in that other video that we did in update 2.0.5 of Survive the Night because that video was pretty much me just having a first look, a first experience of what the update was because we really didn't know a lot of the stuff and we really didn't know how a lot of the stuff actually operated. We had a little bit of help from Alex Garcia 119 He had a lot of the merch items in the game and he actually had a perk in the game as well so we go, go ahead and check that out and see how it actually worked and stuff like that so shout out to him thank you for helping me again so in the other video we had a lot of questions about the perks and what the perks actually were were they for the merch were they for the survivors well we got it all cleared up okay all the perks in the game are actually for the survivors only especially the taunts and the death sound all that is survivor only so when you actually equip one of these perks in the merch surplus shop you can you can tell when someone has it because it actually gives you a backpack the same backpack that the merch has will now be on the survivor so alex actually had the merch bear trap and he had the trap restock perk which is the perk in the merch surplus shop that goes with the merch bear trap gear and what it does is it actually gives you a faster recharge when using this merch bear trap we went ahead and placed the merch's bear trap and then we actually went ahead and counted to see how long this trap restock perk would give you back the merch's bear trap and it is a total of 35 seconds which is way faster than the actual gear recharge for any other gear in the game and perk i believe we unfortunately don't have the other perks because Alex did have the merch's revolver, so there is a distance on how long you can actually use this gun, because if you click it randomly, it, it just uses it, and th that's the same for the camera and the shotgun and all the other reskins that work the same as this merch's gun. So we went ahead and actually found the spot that would be the farthest away you could actually shoot this and actually hit the slasher, and it stuns just like any other gear that is related to the merch's gun. We did not have the perk, but if you do have the perk for the merch's gun, you get three less effective shots, that is for the survivor, you can wrap and fire this thing at the slasher however it says three less effective shots so it's not going to be a greater stun it's not going to be as long of a stun as it will with just having one round in the merch's gun all right and something else we actually missed in the other video was again the merch voice lines when you enter and exit the shop the merch does say something but if you buy an item from the merch's surplus shop he will go ahead and actually say something as well so we missed that voice line here's what he says I think you'll find that to be very useful. And here is another gear that Alex did have, the Merch's Lantern. This is the last gear that he has, but it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's just like a normal lantern, okay? It doesn't have any special effect to this type of lantern. Doesn't make it brighter or anything. It's pretty much just getting merch from the merch. A slasher actually had a nerf, which was the Hunter Slasher. You know, the guy that you could use his ability and then you could go ahead and see people through walls? Yeah, that 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 Hunter, okay, him. Well, they completely removed that, okay? He, he got a nerf. So now his ability, you cannot turn it on and off. It's not like thermal vision anymore. You just use it once and then there's a mega cooldown, okay? There's a big cooldown for this thing, which I'm pretty sure is just like any other cooldown for any of the other slashers, but it just feels like a long time because you're not used to having a cooldown for the Hunter. So now instead of seeing people through walls, you see, you can hear people's heartbeats more and you can see a big afterglow effect on them if they're in sight, okay? You can't see them through the wall, but it makes everything else a bluish tinted version. So if you do see any sort of a yellowish bright orange or something like that, then you know that there is a survivor nearby because it gives them a huge bubble. This is definitely going to change the play of the game because I know a lot of people use the Hunter and there was a lot of people complaining about the Hunter as well because seeing people through walls was just insanely overpowered. So it's definitely going to fix up the game and I don't think a lot of people are going to use the Hunter anymore. And another thing they added to this update was actually removing some stuff in the map. Someone commented in the video that they removed some doors from the guest house, but that wasn't the only map. They actually removed some doors from the hospital as well. As you can see here in the video, we went ahead and looked at the hospital map, and they actually completely cleared out almost all the doors in the back section here that people would use for door looping, which was a great strategy for the survivors to use. Door looping was huge in the sewers and the hospital, but now they're pretty much ruining some of that, and there's pretty much only like a few areas now they can actually door loop and go ahead and use that strategy the reason they did this is because first of all i agree there are way too many doors in this game okay every entrance had a door is that a good idea is that gonna is that a good idea to help the slasher i don't know let me know what you guys think down below 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If there's any other things that we missed, if there's any other things that you guys have questions for, go ahead and leave them down below. If we need to make another video, we will definitely do that. But I think we covered some of the most important topics that were in this update in this video. So yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And again, thank you to the comment section for telling me some of these things because you guys do help out a lot. Thanks, guys.